humble would be the first word. Dad is super humble. He's super accomplished. He's one of the hardest working people that I know. Oregon Inlet Hatters is made up of some of the best fishermen I've ever met. But my dad, uh, he wakes up every morning and he's going to go out there and give it 100%. He's just first class. That's all there is to it. He's a hard, hard working man. Don't take nothing for granted, you know. He's earned everything he has. He's proud of him. I grew up in Kinston, North Carolina, which is a small town 100 miles west of here. And my dad loved to fish, and my grandmother used to get me to go on the fishing pier at Atlantic Beach, North Carolina. She loved to fish. I said, Grandma, if I ever figure out how to get out there in that water with a boat, I'm gonna catch me some fish. Lots of things make Hatters Island special, and especially Hatters Village. It's a small village, approximately 500 residents year round, but we kind of all develop a brotherhood amongst ourselves. Even though we may <laughs> have words at the dock about this or that, if any of us ever have any kind of problem on the water, or even I've been in a couple of life-threatening situations that my good friends came to my rescue and put their boats and lives in peril. So that's where we live. This is a wonderful place to grow up. You know, as a kid, you got the beaches, you got the ocean, you got the sound, you got all these marshes. And in my opinion, have one of the most unique fisheries in the world because we've got I don't know how many species of fish that we can catch. We have year-round fishery here. Both of my boys are, obviously they're both in the fishing business, but I took them very young ages and turned them loose in boats, and they started fishing and hunting boats at seven, eight years old. I guess I didn't give them much of a choice. <laughs> so, I mean, if you grow up in Hatters, you're going to surf and probably fish and maybe hunt. I opened the door for them. They didn't necessarily have to walk through it. But that wasn't the case. They both love it. Drum fishing would be what gets me going the best. I like to say fish red drum, schooled up in the sound around our inlet. I don't know, it's the most competitive, rewarding thing that I've found to do. You cast in there and it's instant. I mean, you let the thing sink down a foot and bring it back three feet and you've instantly got one. Dad's a statistics guy. He likes to write down numbers and he keeps up with a lot of the stuff he catches. I would think he's definitely taught me how to be prepared to catch fish. Dad's studied that ocean and he's spent a pile of time out there. As far as offshore fishing, he's pretty much seen it all. Yeah, I like the black fin. In fact, I like to eat them better than yellow. As far as a father-son bond, I couldn't ask for a better dad. He's pretty much as good a parent as you could possibly ask for. I love them both to death, so uh, I'm very proud of both of them. And I think they'll both be very successful. <laughs>